Hey Simleys, it's Delicracy here with a review of the brand new Sims 4 Kids Room Stuff Pack gameplay review. So in this part of the review, we're going to be looking at the new gameplay options with some of the new objects and also the new monster interaction under the bed from the new game update that came for free that all players will have. And if you're interested in the Kaz um, Create a Sim review or the Build and Buy Bird review, I will put that in the description down below so you can check out those as well. Um, basically, I've just made a little, uh, little playhouse, I guess, and bedroom from a couple of the rooms that are already styled and ready for you to plonk into your game if you choose to. So you can just go over to build buy mode, then to styled rooms. And if you just filter out your items, so you only have the kids room stuff pack, uh, you can pick the rooms here and select which color you would like. So you can pretty much pick an already pre-made room is perfect for a whole range of different sims which is pretty cool so there's a playroom that we're going to be using and um, there's another bedroom that is like the ultimate kids bedroom I mean look at this imagine if you were a kid with all of this stuff like what kid has a computer and a flat screen tv because I certainly did not um, and also we have a little playroom here where there is a puppet theater show going on oh my god and I also loved this ombre of stripes. So whoever, whichever sim studio guru worker did this, I love it. So thank you. Um, but while this is already happening, this is a new puppet show theater, which is really cute. It has little doors on the side um, that look really adorable. And who is in there? Is this little Eve? So if Eve comes out of this puppet theater, she closes her curtains and she comes out the little door. We can actually get her to perform a puppet show. Um, oh, she can perform school life. Nice one for her mum, Christy and Reese and Monique, if they all want to come watch her little show. So that's kind of exciting. So <laughs> it's really, really funny. And check out these animations. Aren't they gorgeous? These, these characters kind of look scary. Oh my God, they have hot dog arms. They have grilled hot dogs as arms. That's crazy. That's not just me, right? There's a grilled hot dogs. <laughs> um, but yeah, really nice, smooth little animation that would have probably taken a lot of work, I assume. And it's just really gorgeous. And I love that. Oh, I love that her hand pops up in her jacket. That is really cute. What happens if we look downwards? This is really naughty of us. You can't see a thing. Ooh, they come out of the darkness. Nice cover up. Oh, we got some new ones too. Oh, they're in love. That's so cute. And you know, your Sims can converse and talk, which is really nice. Um, and yeah. Oh, they hugged. Stop it. And she's like having a great old time, Monique, over here. But she is multitasking. Girls watching the TV and the puppet show. You're crazy. But this doesn't very appropriate for kids. So let's just change the channel. Let's watch the new Between TV, which I suppose is aimed at a more tween age group. Uh, one of the things that I did hear about this stuff pack was that it was aimed at a slightly older child who was beginning to kind of find a style for themselves that they enjoyed and they started to, they might start to personalize their room. And that's why a lot of the items here are a lot more um, energetic and personalized than what we have for kids in the base game. So yeah, these are some really nice cartoons. We can see that there are some new characters that actually have come with this stuff pack uh, because there's a really, really cool part of it. Um, I've just forgotten their name. What are their names? Hold on. Hold on. Void Critters. That's what it is. So Void Critters there are lots of different void critter characters and it's kind of like Pokemon, I guess, because you can watch them partly on the TV. You can battle them at this little battle station. Uh, and to use this battle station, you actually have to have collected the void critter cards. And it's so awesome because some of the cards are foiled. So they're like more rare and then other cards are less rare. You can sell them, you can swap them. And it's just like, a really, really inspired part of this stuff pack that I was just like, wow, they've really, they've really enjoyed creating this. And I just really respect that. And I love, I love that there's a bit of creativity um, 
that's gone that extra mile because it really does help bring the game to life. So I'm pumped about that. So we'll go hunting for some of those cards to play with in a second. It is a Saturday, so you may as well go check it out. We do have a um, another toy box here. Pretty much works exactly the same, but I did notice it's got a cute little teddy bear in there. If you just saw a sneak peek at it, it's the teddy bear from The Sims 3, which I thought was a nice kind of blast from the past. Um, we have a bin here. We also have a bed that is new. And it's interesting because at night time, uh, you can, there may be a monster under the bed. And this monster under the bed interaction actually came with the new game update. So even if you don't have this stuff pack, you may need to shoo away that monster because uh, it might scare your little kitties. So that was really fun. I wonder if there's something new on the computers. Play game. Nah, I just thought we might be able to, to do a couple of more things on there. Um, God, this kid's little Reese. So spoiled. It's got like TV here, TV in there. Crazy. Um, but one thing we can do is we can actually buy these new cards from the computer if we would like to. So we can go to order, I think. Purchase Void to create a booster pack for 125 What? I'm not giving you $125 when you're just a kid. We'll get a, a $25 one. So Eve purchased a Void Critters Booster Pack. She can open it from her inventory to discover which monster is hidden inside. Ooh, okay. So let's open up our Booster Pack. It looks like we only got one in this pack because we didn't pay as much. And we've got a Volpes. And the rarity is that it's uncommon. It's got a power level of one and a playful decor of three. So if we're like, uh, I think we need to get some more. Let's get her to buy the big booster pack. Maybe she's had her birthday and everyone gave her money to get some critters. Um, and then maybe little Reese here. Maybe, actually, no, we already know Reese is loaded. He has two TVs in his house. Okay, maybe Monique here isn't as lucky and she really wants to play, but she doesn't have any money to get them. Well, you can actually search through the worlds to find them, which is kind of cool. So I don't know. I have no idea where they're going to be, but I've heard you can look for discarded toys in uh, different places around the world, which is kind of cool. So hopefully we find a super, super rare card so we can be like, heh, in your faces, you other spoiled kids. We found better ones. Let's open this booster pack. Ooh. Ooh, and discovered a Wisp Void Critter card inside. Nice. Oh, okay. So we've got to open all of them individually. All right. So we've got an uncommon, a common. Okay. I think we've got two of the same thing. So we could actually trade those if we wanted to. Let's see, Monique. Did you find anything? Oh my goodness. What are you doing in there? <laughs> That is so cute. Did she find anything? <gasps> Yay! She opened the booster pack and discovered a Camboys Void Critter. Cool. Uncommon. So you're actually more likely to find uncommon things if you explore around the world than if you buy a booster pack. Oh, and we found a Waffle Cone, the Llama Corn talking toy. Fun times. Uh, where else can we look? Let's, let's go over here. Let's look for discarded toys over here. I'm about to arch you as well. <coughs> Bless me and oh, look, it's Mr. Wu. How you going, Wu? From my Dine Out LP and Ali. Okay, let's check this out and see if we have any cards to play with. Mm, oh, we're just getting all the toys we don't want. Oh, well, we can take our one card and play with Eve in here. All right, Eve, can we, um, can we swap? No, I don't think we can swap with someone who doesn't have a card. All right, let's, oh, we can train our void critters or we can battle a void critter against Reese. So we're going to battle our Medusa card. I didn't even know Reese had any cards, but apparently he does. So that's good. <laughs> and they're going to battle their cards together. Now, if we go over here and watch the battle as an adult, uh, one really nice thing about this, and it's a bit of an extra detail that I loved hearing about in the stream, is that 
The kids will react to the game when there are certain explosions that kind of come out of the screen, whereas adults won't see it. So what it symbolizes is that the kids can see these explosions because it's their imagination, whereas adults don't have the same imagination as kids. And I just thought that was like a really beautiful um, extra aspect of the game. It's just that extra detail that I think really makes... I don't know, makes your gameplay super enjoyable. So I just really appreciate that there's a lot of those little details in this stuff pack that is just really sweet. So we'll start seeing some explosions soon, I think. Um, I don't know if we keep watching. Uh, but there, those critters will battle it out and we'll get a winner. And I think sometimes the kids will get a moodlet where they're like, oh, I should have won. I think that's one of the moodlets. And uh, yeah, they can get a, bit of, a little bit frustrated. But I reckon what we might do is get Monique to trade one of her cards. Uh, that could be kind of cool with Eve. We'll get Monique and Eve to trade cards. And they can sell them as well. You could even sell them at a retail store if you wanted to have like a card selling retail store with um, get to work expansion pack. You could probably do that. And yeah, it's just really nice. I want to see an explosion happen. I saw them on the live stream, but I don't know. Maybe because they haven't leveled up their cards very much. They're kind of tame, but I'm pretty sure the levels the levels go up and down. All right, Monique. Oh, she's chatting with Ali. Let's go over here because you shouldn't chat with strangers. All right, and I think we're going to be able to trade. Joke about nacho cheese. Because it's so hilarious. Oh, there we go. So here's some more explosions and things kind of coming to life, which I don't know. I really like that. Maybe we can't actually do it that way. Maybe we have to click on the card. Read card. Hmm. Place card. Oh, here are all the explosions. See how the adult is kind of oblivious to it? And she's like, hey, just clapping. Whereas the kids really see that and react to it. So... Let's see their moodlets. Did anything happen just now? We've got Void Critter Victor. Reese brought his A game and walked away a winner. Nice one. And uh, Humbling Loss. <laughs> Very cute. All right. How do we trade these cards? I swear you can trade them, but I just don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do that. Hmm. Talk about... Talk about uh, read cards? You know, place card and world is that how you trade it I have no idea it's kind of nice that you can put them on display there I don't know I'm not really sure how to trade them but I'm sure we'll figure that out at a later stage all right so it's 2 or 6 p.m. is there a monster under the bed yet I don't think there is maybe if we wait a little while we might be able to find one when it's nighttime, there may be a monster tentacle that comes up from under the bed that can make a child seem really scared of it at first, but they can actually befriend the monster after time and have a few um, social interactions with it. So this is a new part of the game that was updated in a game patch. So it's totally, um, totally free with the game pack and it looks like for a second I thought she was freaking out that she did see the monster but I don't know it only turns up sometimes so what we can actually do is ask Christy to spray the monster under the bed and that can stop the monster from coming back um, or if you have a brave kid they might want to make friends with it and they'll actually get a special energized moodlet I think um, if that happens so that's pretty cute um, but anyways guys I'm gonna leave this right here I will put up on the screen links to the other um, review videos I've done if you want to check it out kids and create a sim and also build and buy mode um, but anyways i hope you're having a lovely morning afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world i will speak to you soon